I bring to you lots of love, lots of healthy eating. And this week, it's all about different countries. And today, we are going to pay homage to Lebanon. When I was a wedding planner, and I have a lot of stories because, you know, I own my own business, Elena Jones Productions, and I did weddings everywhere, and I got to do a couple of Lebanon weddings. And I was so welcome into their home, and they're very beautiful people, like everybody's a beautiful people as long as you treat them with a lot of respect and love, just the way you want to be treated. So uh, what I'm going to share with you is a recipe for tabbouleh, and this tabbouleh recipe was given to me by one of the mamas of the daughters. Uh, you know, even though <laughs> I was a wedding planner, I was always in the kitchen, and I, I, I would do weddings everywhere, you know, the, the Ritz-Carlton, uh, the Don Cesar, uh, all the five-star hotels and the non-five-star hotels. And, and I was always in the kitchen. I would always go in the kitchen and the staff of the Don Cesar and the Vinoy, they would love me because I would always go and see what they're making, even though, you know, when my clients would order the food, I wanted to see. And in this particular, this particular, um, wedding that I did, it was catered by a Lebanese chef. So, but I was allowed to, to be in the kitchen. So I got there extra early so I could see him how to prepare the food. And the bride's mother really wanted authentic food from her country. So I am going to share to you a true authentic tabbouli dish. So the first thing, even though you know I am Italian, uh, and I have taught you now to say many different words in Italian. And I'm sure that you all know what this is, right? What is this called? Lu fadale, il fadale. We're gonna be putting it on because I have a pretty dress. Because today, you know, I do a lot of FaceTime counseling and all the good stuff. And uh, I am not charging. I'm not charging because that's how it is because a lot of people are out of work. Um, and I'm semi-retired, but not really, because I still work for God. So I'm a busy woman. So, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, these are seven spices. They are called Lebanese seven spices. And uh, I have written them all down for you, and I made it super, super easy. Because what I wanna do first is I'm gonna make the salad dressing, because I am not going to have this until later, uh, probably this is going to be part of my dinner because uh, I'm also going to be making some other things with that. But I just want to show you this salad. So the salad dressing, uh, uh, one thing that uh, her mom told me is that she would make it ahead of time. She would have parties and then she would get a tray and then she would start assembling the vegetables in rows to make it look really pretty. And then when it's time to have that wonderful uh, dinner or lunch or whatever, then you would have the salad dressing that you can put over. And also, when um, we are having the, uh, the Lebanese seven spices, I, I keep little jars, you know. My grandfather, I talk about my grandfather, he never threw a jar away. And this year, I agreed to throw some of over my 150 jars that I've been keeping. So I did, I did not throw them away, I'm sorry, I donated them, okay? There's a difference between throwing them away and donating because it's glass and it's donating. So I have here Lebanese seven spice and I'm out. So this, once I'm done with this, okay, I can put it in here, put it in a very tight, tight, okay. There we go, is this one, it did not break? <laughs> we start so make it in a nice tiny seal thing and just put in your spice I have tons of spices I make my own spices but I've also been very gifted and blessed to have met so many wonderful people during those 13 14 years of Elena Jones productions as a wedding planner because I've learned so much from many different people so what I have here is a half an onion chopped that's that's what I have in here half an onion chopped that's it but uh, you know, don't worry about that right now because what I want to teach you is about the seven spices because these, because maybe a tablespoon of, the, of this 
it's gonna go into uh, into the salad dressing and I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do all of this. So you're gonna need some olive oil, you're gonna need some limes, you're gonna need a little jar, and let's see, where's my glasses? Cause I cannot see who is saying hello. Hey Sue, hello! I hope that I am paying, you know, a lot of tribute to this beautiful country called Lebanon and I've never had the pleasure but uh, the people are beautiful, and you know, and they have this amazing dance. You know, the, the Italian, we do You know, we do the tarantella when you get married. Well, when you, when they have a party, or they have a, uh, and I got to go to their engagement party because they invited me. Oh my gosh, I danced and danced and danced. I totally forgot I was professional. <laughs> You know, it's, it's wonderful to get to know other countries and get to know other people, y'all. All right, so very simple. Half, half a teaspoon on all of these spices, okay? You ready? You ready? Are you ready with me? Okay, get yourself a little thing like this, and it's going to be, okay, starting with a half a teaspoon of ground allspice half a teaspoon all ground allspice, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of wonderful cinnamon, half a teaspoon or less, depending if you don't like ground cloves. And you know, if your cloves are not this color, you may want to buy yourself a new one because cloves, you want to get them fresh and they're wonderful. So you may want to have a half a teaspoon, maybe not. But I have a half a teaspoon because I really like cloves. Okay, so far so good, right? A half a teaspoon of ground ginger. A half a teaspoon of fennel seed powder. Now, that's the, uh, and, and I did, I, I have it right there, and I don't have fennel seed powder. Um, so what I did is I took a tablespoon of this guy and I grounded it in my spice grind okay so invest in one of those and then that way you can make your own spices and you can use your own you know measurements or whatever you have okay so this is fennel and the last but not least is ground nutmeg all right let me repeat them so you guys can remember slowly a half a teaspoon of allspice a half a teaspoon of black pepper a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of uh, ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of ginger, a half a teaspoon of ground fennel, which is so good for you, and a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I am going to move these guys out of the way because the first thing I'm gonna do is show you the salad dressing. And uh, you know, I, I had so much fun being a wedding planner and I got to meet the most beautiful people that must wonderful photographers and videographers and and I know that the wedding industry is getting a, a beat, beating right now uh, with all of this um, so anyways I'm just gonna wait to put it in my jar and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a, a teaspoon you know my little teaspoons I don't really measure uh, and then what I want to do is I want to take uh, a nice little uh, you know uh, measuring cup because the measuring cup, I'm just gonna leave it on the side and then I'm gonna shake it a little bit and then I am going to be, you know, uh, putting it into my, all my vegetables. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is, uh, I do have here and I do have my zester. And not my zester, I'm sorry, my, uh, my wonderful little uh, lime squeezer. Something that we didn't do yesterday <laughs> and I was dishing out the, the seeds from the lemon. Oh, all right. So this guy, remember, always have something to put your stuff in. I'm gonna cut this up and this is gonna go on the ground, okay? Because it's got acid and tomatoes love acid. And I'm trying, yes, I am trying to grow tomatoes from seed. We'll see what happens. So I am going to use, ooh, this uh, one guy. He is uh, juicy, juicy, juicy Lucy. I am going to use two lines and I am going to give it a massage. Make sure you give your, you know, give yourself, give your lime a massage, because if you give a massage, like we all need a massage, 
after all of this, my sinuses, you know, in the morning, they go crazy. You know that, oh my God, there she is again, sniffing. All right, so now I am mean, using, so if you're looking over here, okay, these two little limes are going to be giving me about a fourth cup. All right, if you want to be precise. I know you people like a domestic. Oh. And let me tell you something, when she told me this recipe, she was making it, and she showed it to me, and there were no measuring, eh? No measuring. All right, so now I am done with this, so I'm gonna remove this out of the way. Okay, put that on the side. Okay, so, so far, guys, two little limes equaled a fourth cup of lime juice. All right, so let me see where is my sale. Oh, my goodness, sale. And that's because I cut the onions before I came on. See, I should wait. I did not cut my onions yesterday. I cut them in this morning. Oh, mamma mia. And just a little pinch of salt. All right. So that's... Now, we are going to put... It, so if we're, if we have a... Uh, here, let me do it the other way because that's going to take a long time. Get yourself some very good olive oil. You know, one thing about Europe, they love their olive oil. And Lebanese olive oil is amazing. Uh, olive oil from different countries are amazing. You know, we have olives in Italy and every other year, you know, we harvest our olive oil. So I know about olive oil. Okay, so now it's a fourth cup. So what I am going to do is I am going to put enough of the olive oil for a third to make it a third cup. Okay, you see that? Very simple, very easy transaction. All right, let me get the a shifily shifily here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, get, you, get, get, get one of these guys going, okay, guys? All right, because we have all the spices in here, we don't want to put any more spices in there. So I am going to start with one teaspoon. I know it's early in the morning, right? And I am just going to see how this plays out. Because, you know, I may want more, or I may want less. So let me get myself another teaspoon because I got a taste for you. Oh my goodness, my sinuses this morning with that onion. Oh, you, you, stay away from me, please. And I still have some more onions to cook. Okay, not to cook, but to make. Okay, so you see how lovely, you see how lovely it emulsifies? You see how lovely that is? All right, so I'm going to taste it. Oh my gosh, it's slimy, but I want to put another, I like spice, okay? I'm a spicy Italian chick. <laughs> Do you remember when we used to call girls chicks? Man, and they used to get so mad. So mad. Okay, so what I want to do my own thing is I am going to get my sugar and I am going to add a little teaspoon of a little and you know and a couple of couple of little dots of sugar in here. And that's to also help the acid. Oh, my goodness. Trust me, it's, uh, it's, it's this sinuses thing. All right, so now, let me get another spoon because, you know, it's all about taste, taste, taste. You know, I tried to make it just like her. So I'm gonna add another teaspoon. I wanna be able to taste those wonderful flavors. And the more it sits, the better it is. Okay, I think, let me taste it. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove this out of the way. I'm gonna wash my hands. Cause we are cooking here, you know, we are cooking. Okay, so now that we have this, cover it up. All right, cover it up and just put it on the counter. Don't worry about it. Boom, done. All right, so now let me get rid of the olive oil because you know, that's our salad dressing. All right, so you, um, um, you know, traditionally they use a uh, bulgur wheat. Let me put this back because you know me, I gotta put everything away. Okay, uh, what is, uh, and, and I wrote everything down for you guys, okay? Uh, and, and for me also, they, what they usually use is they use a fine bulgur wheat. Uh, 
I, I, I didn't get a chance to have that, but I do have some farro, and I have cooked some farro. And from my understanding is, in Lebanon, in Lebanon, they don't fill up their uh, salad with this. They only use a quarter cup. A quarter cup is what they use. Uh, I just have my cups. Oh, here they are. So I'm gonna take a quarter cup of my bowl. It has already been cooked. All right, I'm gonna do a nice heaping, and I am just going to put it like so. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what, because I love this so much, I'm going to add another quarter. Why not? And, and, and what this is going to do is I'm gonna cover this baby up because it's been cooked and I will use this for many other wonderful things. So this is done, put that aside. Okay, so now we have a half an onion, uh, uh, I use two quarter cups, you know, because they don't use a lot. It's all about the salad, okay? All right, so now that we have all that out of the way, uh, we are going to bring the vegetables. And my vegetables came in yesterday, woohoo! And we're gonna be using, <laughs> this is an organic English cucumber. Do you see, do you, you see how, how big it is? It's almost as big as me, and I am not that big. Well, I am a voluptuous woman, eh? Watch it. All right, so I'm, I can't use this whole thing. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of cucumber. So what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm probably gonna use a a half. In the rest, trust me, my husband loves. I put this in the mandala, in the, not the mandala, in one of those things that chuku 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 chuku. The desa kuchu kuchu kuchu, and there's slices and with yogurt that we had from yesterday. Oh, delicious. I'm gonna put this guy away. All right, then I got this beautiful organic, look at this beautiful organic aroma tomatoes. I have this beautiful, remember what I tell you, when you get the stuff from the store, put it in a plastic bag. Don't throw your plastic bags because you can rewash these, dry them, okay, and I do, two or three times for only vegetables. Okay, so I am going to be using probably one, two, three, four. Four green onions, get this out of the way. And I'm probably gonna be using this Roma tomatoes are beautiful. And make sure that when you get your tomatoes to make this salad, that they're nice and firm, okay? So now I got my green onion, I got my, 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 uh, my uh, tomato, green onion. Cucumber. This is will be a normal cucumber, but because this guy was organic, he's a big. Look at that! I got two cucumbers for the price of one. <laughs> I did great. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take the little tip of this little dude, put him in my little, uh, you know, my little basket that we keep. We're gonna put him on the side. Okay. So then, I remember yesterday I showed you my beautiful parsley. So my beautiful parsley today, I, it got washed. And one thing about parsley is, uh, and this is what, that one thing that was engraved in my mind, uh, and I can't believe that I remember all of this, I'm gonna throw the water away now, is that you take a paper towel, you know, paper towels, you can get paper towels now, and it has to be really dry. You know, I, I remember her telling me, Elena, you got to make it that. Well, she didn't talk like that, okay? She had her own accent, and it was a beautiful accent. And to this day, I'm still friends with that wonderful lady. And I'm glad that she's doing, that she's healthy and doing well. All right, we don't want a lot of stems, okay? So we're gonna remove the stems. Now remember, guys, this is a true, authentic uh, tabbouleh. You know, when you go to the stores, uh, or to the restaurants, they use, and I've noticed that they use green onions, uh, and, uh, red onions, and, and that's because it's easier, I think. Uh, but I am doing the authentic thing, and I'm using the real thing, okay? So, not too many stems. Ooh, my sinuses, ooh. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna chop. Because, you know, tabbouleh, it's all about, uh, Parsley, and did you know that parsley is an incredible antioxidant? 
and it's very good for your bones. Parsley is very, see, I mean, in, let me tell you, the Mediterraneans, they, you know, they knew, uh, they, you know, they worked, you know, gosh, they started, you know, from, gosh, goes way, way, way back. And we are listening to some wonderful music. All right, so we are just going to chop this wonderful parsley, beautiful parsley, okay, beautiful parsley. Oh my goodness gracious, it smells so good. You know, a parsley, you should be able to smell the parsley. If you're not smelling the parsley, then go and get yourself organic. You know, pesticides are horrible uh, for our bodies. And, uh, and one thing that I learned, you know, from a farmer is when you eat fresh, you know, it's good for you. Uh, and, and tomatoes and anything soft skin, buy organic. Anything with, with, a, with a, a big crust uh, or a, maybe I'm not saying it correctly. Uh, you know, you can, you, it doesn't have to be organic, but, but please, please, please take care of your health. Make sure that you know that you're having anything soft skin, it's organic. Okay, so now I got my beautiful, beautiful parsley here. All right, uh, how many mint leaves? Well, you know, I've got a couple of different mints. I like to grow different mints. My father never grew the same mint. And I love mint, and mint is very healthy for me. Uh, you know, I love it with lamb. Um, as a matter of fact, I do have lamb today that I am going to be making. And since I have my mint, when I get my mint, let me tell you, I make lamb. I make all kinds of wonderful things. So my dad always grew kind of different mints. So what I do here is don't ask me what kind they are because I don't know. I have different kinds of mints. And uh, depending on how much mint you want, I like a lot of mint, okay? Because mint is very good for digestion and, uh, and it's underutilized. Uh, it's, it's used a lot in mojitos. <laughs> and I love my mojito. All right, guys, here we are. So we're chopping, chopping, chopping. And the good thing is, is once you finish chopping this, you can help your kids with homework. You can go relax. Uh, because stress is not helping you. Stress is bringing your immune system down, okay? So what the first thing you want to do is you don't want to be stressed. All right, so now I'm going to remove this guy because I don't need this guy. I'm going to move him over there. All right, so now let me grab myself a little paddle. The paddle to the middle and the middle to the power. I have one of each. All right, so now I'm gonna just add it right over here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be such a pretty thing. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the uh, for the uh, mint because you know we want to make it pretty with different colors. See where I'm going with this? Look at that. Okay, I am so proud of you guys for you know for trying my dishes. And please, 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 if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Elena's Cucina, please do so. So then that way we can bring this to the world. We can bring all this wonderful cooking. And you know, and I'm bringing you around the world, not around the world because there's a lot of cooking to do, you know, uh, around the world. And, uh, and like I said, a lot of the recipes that I have are, are really all uh, from family recipes. All right, I am going to be using four green onions. Yesterday they came in, look how, they, how beautiful they are. And I have a place that will deliver to me, you know. And remember what I told you about these, you guys can grow those, I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to just slice my green onion. All right, whoa, 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 hey, come back over here. You're not going anywhere. You're gonna go in my stomach later. And I don't know about you, but you know, I feel that I am, losing weight this week with all these wonderful healthy eating you know people think because you know you go to germany or you go to all these other different countries that it's not going to taste good or it's not going to have all this flavor but there's a wonderful chefs out there and wonderful grandmothers out there and wonderful mothers out there that they know they know they have the recipes just like i have my recipes okay all right, so now let me take my tomato. We're gonna take the little butt off. 
well, let me call it the Billy Button. It's, it's a much nicer, and you can see I just I just remove a that tiny little bit, a little 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 bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with the tomatoes, I'm going to you know make sure it's flat like this. Safety first. Okay, can you guys see that? Safety first. And I've gotten so many emails, and I've gotten so many texts from the people that they said that that they thank me for for helping them feel comfortable enough to cook again because. They were so afraid that they were not going to be able to make it and they had to be perfect. And we don't have to be perfect, okay? We don't have to be perfect. All right, so now I'm going to move my little pile. So tomato down, okay? Start from the little, from that other little belly button. Put your hands over here. Put your knife over here like so. Keeping it safety. Then I take my tomato and I go like that. All right, so now we're going to cut it in half some more. Let me do the same thing here. Safety first. Oh, these tomatoes are beautiful. You know, they're so pretty. I think I'm gonna do another one. They're nice and firm tomatoes. And they work wonderful because it's gonna sit in the refrigerator because I am going to refrigerate this until I'm ready to eat it later, okay? And then what you do is you just uh, chop them. You know, tabbouleh is, is such a healthy, healthy dish. Uh, and I am just going to add them all over here, like so. You know, everybody, everybody got to be happy. Everybody got to be happy. Uh, you, you know, we can learn so much from each other, you know. We can learn so much from each other. I am just so grateful for all the experiences that I have had up to now in my life. Uh... And you know, for me, when I go to a country, uh, yeah, they have the sites and stuff, but I go looking for people. I go looking for people so I can talk to them because I want to find out what makes them happy. I want to find out what they ate. You know, what is it that they eat? Uh, and I always look for restaurants that, uh, that they have, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, of the people that live there. All right, all right, so I'm gonna continue to put, and I do have quite a bit of tomatoes, so I am going to put my other tomatoes in here because I'm going to be needing them for later anyways for when I'm cooking my other dish. So, boom, that's done for that. All right, so you will see so far. Okay, I should have gotten a bigger, a bigger one of these guys, but I didn't. Okay, and here comes the cucumber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna always remember that your fingers get, the knife always goes down with your fingers come up here, okay? This is my English uh, cucumber. It doesn't have to be seeded. Uh, and, uh, and I am just going to, uh, I hope I'm not chopping it. Let me cut it a little bit more. Uh, I, I like to crunch on my food. If you, you know, there's a, I know there's a lot of people that they have problems you know with a uh, texture I have no problem with nothing eh because I grew up that if you didn't eat what was put in front of you you were gonna go hungry because that was that was it you know that was it you just ate whatever was put in front of your face and uh, and if you didn't eat it my father would say no vasciaro sardaro no vasciaro sardaro and what he was saying is that you know that uh, obviously the uh, you're not hungry enough uh, to eat and if you don't eat now you're not going to eat so my dad you know my father was uh, he was a great dad but I tell you what my father my god he was he was another terremoto another hurricane all right, so now woo -woo, my goodness these guys are going everywhere all right so now I'm going to do my mint I know there's already no space for the mint. And we are not done with the green onions yet. Wait, wait, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Don't cover up that guy yet. Come on, I'll be nice. All right, and here comes the green onions. All right. And, and the thing is, you know, Italians, let me remove this. Because guess what, guys? We're done. Uh, you know, 
the, the Italian, well, I'm going to talk about my family. My mother will be so proud when she will come out with her beautiful lasagna to show the whole entire family. And can you imagine this beautiful Lebanese woman that she's had her beautiful family over and she's made homemade tabbouleh for them and she comes out with this beautiful tray. And that all healthy, all organic. Isn't that beautiful? Tabuli, guys, tabuli. And then remember, cover this baby up. Let me do that right now so I don't forget. Because after I get off the line here, I have uh, some people to take care of. So I am just going to cover this baby like so. And this guy's going in the refrigerator. This guy stays up. And when you are ready, okay, don't add this whole entire thing. Shifuli, 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 very good. You know, mix it, mix it, mix it, really good. And then kind of eye it, all right? And then you mix it. And then you eat it. And you can serve this over lettuce. You can serve it uh, in, in any way you want to. So I'm Elena Jones. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and making this beautiful tabbouleh, homemade tabbouleh from one of my friends. Hello, Maria. Grazie for this. I know you're, her name is Maria. Thank you, Maria, if you're watching. Thank you, Maria from Lebanon. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful, wonderful dish. And thank you for the seven spices. Okay, guys. Grazie molti. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Elena Jones, and this is my cucina bringing you healthy eating. Lots of love. I love you. Mwah, 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 belly. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day today. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And eat healthy. Okay, ciao, ciao, belly. Ciao, ciao.